Hello my dear friends, it's me Asif Paredi. In this video, I'm sharing my idea to score 80 plus percentage in paper 9, Operations Management and Strategic Management. For scoring 80 plus percentage, that means 80 mark plus, plus 80 mark plus in paper 9, Operations Management and Strategic Management, you should know three different things. The first thing you should know the pattern of the exam, how the questions will be tested and what the, a student is expected uh, a student is expected in the exam hall, how the question is coming. So you should know the pattern of the exam very well. Secondly, you should know what is the weightage which the exam is having. Generally speaking, 70% of the paper is operations management and 30% of the paper is strategic management. But exam question, question paper contains uh, 124 marks. It is not 100 marks. From that, you have to choose some questions. Uh, the session C of the question paper, which contains six questions of 12 mark, from that you have to select any four of the questions. So 124 mark, from the 124, uh, there will be 85 to 90 marks for the operations management and approximately 42, 40, 42 to 45 marks for the area strategic management. So the question paper contains uh, nearly 40 percentage to 45 percentage for strategic management and it will be 80 to 90 percentage for the strategic man so operations management so that is the weightage but you have only options to score up to 70 in operations management and 13 strategic management but it is uh, need not that you have to score like this you have choices now after that you should know what to study how, which area you need to cover and what are the materials you have to follow in order to get a score of 80 plus percentage this is what i am going to discuss in this video firstly i will discuss the pattern of the exam now the pattern of the exam paper 9 pattern exam now the exam is having four different areas section a then it is section b then section c and finally it is section d now what are the questions how what kind of questions they are testing in section a section a it's a mcq it's a multiple choice questions where you have four options and it is having 20 mcq questions normally 70 percentage of the 20 which is 14 marks 14 questions from operations management which contains four options and 14 14 marks from operations management the remaining six will be tested from strategic management now section b which is again a multiple choice but but there is no multiple choice you have to type the answers so the thing is that whenever you are practicing the multiple choice questions the questions which you are going to practice i will clearly uh, give you which are the multiple choice questions which you have to practice these questions can be converted into section b that means the question is uh, the pattern of the section b you have to type your answer while typing your answer you will get two marks so there will be 10 questions of which seven from the operations management and three from strategic management now there is a question agile manufacturing is also known as dash it's the right answer option a you will have business process re-engineering option b you will have lean production the right answer it is flexibility now this is a question which is there in our mcq which is a one mark question if you choose the right answer is flexibility 
Now, if the same question which is tested in section B, Agile manufacturing is also known as, where you don't have any options, then you have to type the answer. At that time, you will get two marks for one question. So, all together, section A and section B, 20 plus 20, which is 40 marks. That means 40 percentage, the pass mark is coming from section A and section B. If a student is ready to work, there is strategy. I will give you how to score 35 plus percentage in this area, section A and section B. Okay. Now, this is the main body of the exam is from section C and section D. Section C, it is optional. There is some options. You have six questions. From the six questions, you have to choose any four of them. And there is no distinction between the operations management or strategic management. There will be 10 mark for one question. From that, you have to choose six questions. So from you, there will be six questions. From that, you have to choose four questions. Each of the questions will be having sub-questions. For example, there are six questions. Let's take the first question. The first question, it could be a uh, first question could be a eight mark question, second question could be a four mark question, or there could be six questions. Uh, there is less chance that six questions on questions of two mark, but uh, one of the question which is a theory question which is asking for four mark, and the section B question, the second part of the question which is a problem question which will be having four sub questions of two mark each like that in any of the pattern one of the question may get eight mark one of the question may get 10 mark the other question may get a two mark or it could be a question of six mark from a or six mark from b or there can be four questions like a b c d under one question each of which is having three mark any possibility any kind of question will be tested and what is the weightage for the problem questions and what is the weightage for uh, theory questions which we will discuss in the next slide and section d so each question is having 12 mark so for from these six questions of 12 mark you have to choose four so four into 12 there is 48 so this is the 48 over here so 20 over here so 20 over here so 20 plus 20 which is 40 40 plus 48 which is 88 now the section d which is a compulsory question so it's a compulsory question there will be two questions in section d and one of the questions from operations management and one of the question will be from strategic management so all together you will be having 12 marks so this is the uh, online exam pattern which is recently published by the Institute of Post Accounts of India. So now this is the 100 mark. Now in the coming slide, I'm going to discuss the analysis on the weightage. As you all students, we can classify the kind of questions which you are going to test in exam, even though there are four sections. So we can classify the four sections into three different area. The first part is multiple choice questions and second part there are problem questions. The problem questions is from operations management. In operations management around 24 areas where there is calculation. Lot of problem like a transportation problem, assignment problem, linear programming problem, Monte Carlo simulation, the uh, facility location, capacity planning, demand forecasting, maintenance management, then there is CPM, there is PERT, there is um, the special kind of problem, a lot of problem. There is productivity management like that around 24 different problem areas in the paper, operations management and there are theory areas. The theory area from operations management as well it is from strategic management. Now um, what MCQ, talking about MCQ, 40 percentage of the questions are multiple choice. So if you study the multiple choice properly, you can score the fill in the blanks questions of section B as well. So section A and B together comes 40 percentage. 
that is a major area now related to the problem now look at here uh, all the problem area comes under only operations management so 40 percentage into 70 40 into 70 percentage 40 marks into 70 percentage this is the weightage which is mcq is getting in the operations management area so 28 multiple choice question either it could be a multiple choice question it's it's a multiple choice question 14 multiple choice questions in section a and seven fill in the blanks from seven fill in the blanks from uh, section b so you will have 28 marks so one fill in the blank question is having two marks so you have 28 marks in operations management now the total of operations management is 70 so from the 70 if we deduct to 28 what is the balance so we have a 42 marks balance so this 42 so the 42 is having balance from operations management now take half of 42 which is 21 but the weightage which we are getting in the exam it's not 100 marks still there is an excess 24 the question paper contains 24 marks so approximately 45 mark area is there from operations management or strategic management together so all together you can expect minimum 22 percentage to 48 percentage of the problems minimum 22 percentage or 20 20 mark problem area or 22 mark problem questions sometimes the questions from the operations management consist of the problem area consist of even up to 40 percentage 40 marks or up to 48 mark or it could be 36 mark problem but the thing is that you will not get the chance to attend all the problems alone because in a question in an area where there are six questions in that there will be sub questions so option a the first part of the question suppose the question number four let's say question number four is a question which is having a 12 mark so in that section a a will be a problem on assignment which is having a eight mark then the b is a theory which is having four mark and the other question that is question number four suppose the question number five the session A will be a theory, session B will be theory, question number uh, 6, session A will be a problem, session uh, B will be a uh, theory, like that you will not be able to select only the problem and you have to answer, you will be able to score all the marks in problem, that will not possible but minimum there will be 22 marks of problem will be there it can extend up to 36 or even up to 48 marks but you have to choose if you choose the right problem you will have the other side there will be theory questions as well now if you talk about the theory so 18 to 18 percent that means 18 to 28 marks of the theory from the strategic management definitely it will be there i'm giving you minimum we can't say exactly this much will be tested from the strategic management because the strategic management the uh, mcq questions that is 14 to 30 percentage which is 12 mark 12 mark is already gone to mcq and fill in the blanks so the there is remaining 18 marks but it can extend up to 28 because the question paper which contains 124 marks so the weightage can increase but you will not be able to score more than 30 35 from the strategic management itself because you have to select some other questions similarly the most of the question theory questions there there is a good number of questions operations management is having good equally weightage actually i given it is 22 percentage to 48 percentage to the problem but in reality it may be equal you have theory questions from operations management which is for 20 percentage to uh, even up to 40 percentage it can go up to that 18 percentage to 28 percentage which i given but there are in some instances 
it may goes to beyond of that it may goes to beyond of that but minimum 22 from the problem which is possible if we score 22 plus 28 which is 40 which is 40 the uh, 22 plus 28 which is 50 uh, then the balance is 20 over here but it can happen the other way as well so so this is the weightage on it now now the thing is that what are the things you are supposed to study in order to get this 40 percentage in your textbook after all the operations management is ending from page number 210 there are a lot of multiple choice questions or the institute recently introduced some bit questions in paper 9 operations management and strategic management you can practice all the multiple choice questions of operations management and strategic management and there are 13 match the following questions most of the time they are asking some questions from that 13 different types of match the following which is almost the number of total questions is 13 into 7 or 13 into 6 around 80 questions are there in that area if you practice that well and in LearnCare platform we have made chapter by chapter based multiple choice which you will be able to access soon and which is uh, so if you practice these questions definitely you will be able to score 35 marks this is my assumption because that much uh, effort will be i have taken on it and if you practice these questions of mcq either the bit questions or we have sorted the questions based upon the chapter if you practice that you will be able to score minimum 35 and in the problem area we don't have options you have to study all the areas there are people you should say or uh, either transportation problem or assignment problem will be tested in operations management that was the case earlier but this time we can't give any guarantee and there is a saying that there will be one question from chapter 7 that was the fact earlier but we can't predict in the new pattern anything so you have to study all the problem areas and you have to focus in operations management uh, the chapters uh, chapter number one definitely questions from chapter number one and chapter number three and chapter number five almost all the theory questions in chapter one three five you have to study and there is a good number of questions on theory questions from the topic demand forecasting in chapter 2 chapter 2 there is very less problem theory areas you have to focus those theory areas and in chapter 4 slightly there is few theory areas only like a time study work study method study lean operations just in time you have to focus it in chapter 6 difference between CPM and PERT this is a very very important question and in chapter 7 the importance of preventive management the types of spare parts these are the some of the very famous very important questions which you can study accordingly and in strategic management we have done not based upon the chapter we have done the we have learned I have taught the strategic management uh, on the basis of the topic and if you focus topic topic by uh, topic it will be very helpful to learn and topics like sort analysis topic like pestle analysis topic like porter's five forces model topic like igor and sophos product market growth metrics or topics like bcg metrics are very important so far as your exam is considered so my i request all of my friends to practice the mcq questions which is given to you we have made it chapter by chapter so please practice it and focus a little bit on theory all the questions in chapter one like the characteristics of modern operation functions is very very important and questions on chapter three is very very important again i told you chapter one three five there is nothing to exclude you have to study properly thank you all